YouTube welcome back to my channel so for those of you who aren't aware I do have a uh, autism awareness shell challenge that I've been doing and this is what I built out of the shell now I have the speed build of how I built this in the bottom left hand corner down below so you can definitely watch that part if you're interested but this is my build. I turned it into kind of a, it's it's officially a park, but in my mind, I had it more of a kid center. I named it the Butterfly Center. Um, so like as you're walking up to it, you have this beautiful little butterfly garden way type thing. And then you get to the actual building itself. And it, it it's, like I said, it's officially a park. So there are a few things I had to include, but Overall, I really, really like this. So, like, you come in and you have the cork board and stuff like that. Uh, you know, kind of announcements for what's coming up. You've got a little dollhouse for kids to play with. You come over here, you have a little sitting nook. And there's a bookshelf here. So, in my mind, I kind of imagine that as a little bit of a reading nook. And then you have all these school projects and stuff right here. So, I kind of imagine that as, like, um kind of where you would like display the projects you're proud of you have an arts and crafts center and then coming this way you get more into the toddlers area now I tried to make sure that there were things to build each skill so we've got the blocks for movement and thinking we've got the bear for communication we've got the toy box for imagination we also have the entire little play area for movement I mean come on uh, we have the little tower here I think that's creativity if I'm not mistaken imagination I'm sorry that is imagination not creativity um, and then you also have the little potty station here. <laughs> so you can work on the potty skill also if needed. Ah, my camera is falling. Um, so, and then upstairs. Now, I did use ladders here instead of actual stairs. But um, you come upstairs. I, I put the little uh, void critter guy in here for um, like kind of a pet. And then, of course, I've got his things uh the bathrooms and then over here we have kind of like a mental skill logic skill type work area uh something to just kind of build that skill we have computers because so many skills can be built on the computers a bookshelf and then upstairs we even have a kitchen complete with ice cream machine because i mean come on what kid doesn't like ice cream i mean hello um, and on the outside, there's also a patio and bench area where you can sit and eat. Oh, and I forgot on this floor, there's also a basketball court. Um, so I imagine it just being kind of like a kid center, a great place for kids to like come and build their skills, stuff like that. Um, and then of course I put trees. I tried to match the trees to what was already in the area. So it doesn't stick out like a green thumb, but yes, this was my take on the puzzle shell challenge that I provided. So you have until this Friday, April 30th, 2021 to enter this challenge. Um, you can find the shell on my gallery. Make sure when you upload your shell that you use the hashtag autism aware shell. If you don't have a hashtag button on your computer keyboard, like I, I know, um, some of you may be watching from overseas, well, over, overseas to me. I'm in the U.S., so overseas to me. Um, I know sometimes those keyboards don't necessarily have the hashtag option. Um, you'll hit on a Windows uh, keyboard, you'll hit, hit Alt-0032, and it will put up a hashtag symbol for you. Um, I have to do that, not with the Alt-0032, but there's another code that I sometimes have to use to type a pound sign. Because, uh, you know, I have an American keyboard. I don't have a pound sign just, you know, on my keyboard. Uh, so I have to use shortcuts sometimes myself to type out things that I'm wanting to type. But, um, and for Mac, it's, uh, it's another button, 0032. And I forget exactly which button it is on Mac. But you can Google it and find it. So make sure you put hashtag autism aware shell in your description if it's not there it's not going to pull up when i pull up to look at the entries so make sure you do that 
Um, I will link the video up above for my autism aware shell challenge rules. But basically is you can move the pieces however you see fit, but you can't delete any of the walls that I placed. So um, just as an example, th oh, oops. let's say this is a piece of my shell. Um, which it's become a different piece now because I added a wall. But um, so you can move it, but you can't change it. Um, you can add walls in your builds if you like. So like in my original shell, this piece on the top was one of the pieces. Down here, um, this part was a piece, but like these little bathroom stalls, they weren't originally part of the shell. I added the walls there. So you can add walls to the shell. You cannot take any of my walls away. You can, however, turn them into half walls or spandrels. So like I did that here because this was a wall from my shell piece, but I put a spandrel up and all of a sudden it's open. Um, and you can see even right here on my build, I have a little area that I just couldn't make fit well <laughs> with, uh, with it. So I just kind of put the pieces together and just kind of left it there, which I don't think it really hurts the build. Uh, same with here. I couldn't, because I believe this wall wasn't there originally. I added that. So this square along with this odd piece here was the original thing. I put a wall here. So you can add walls to your builds if you want. Um, you just can't move any of the original walls that I placed. Um, but Yes, I, I, I'm I excited to see what everyone's built. There have been, well, technically four entries so far. There's one entry that didn't use the hashtag. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping she gets my message and puts her hashtag in. That way she can uh, join the challenge. But there are three other entries. And so far, they're all great. I love them all. Um, and I'm just really excited to see what everyone builds. The winning, the winner for this pack will, or I'm sorry, the winner for this contest will get their choice of either a game pack, uh, two stuff packs, and I am still hoping they will let me gift kits. I don't know. But yes, so that is it for this video. Don't forget you have until August 13th to enter the shell challenge, and I'm excited to see what everybody does on their shell challenge. Uh, thanks, everyone. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. It really does help us out, and I will see you next time. Bye.